right? right. Because if not, then we're all going to be these soldiers, you know, and, and it's going to look amazing when it comes to the power and all that. But then it's like, you know, where's the character? Where's, where's, where's the flavor? And um, that's, for some people, that's, that's what they're attracted to. Some people are not attracted to the dance. They, they want to flip and they want to fly, you know? So for those people, it's a good thing. It's lovely, you know what I'm saying? It's basically a big power move battle. Right. Think about it. But as far as you, man, you got some some big projects you've worked on over the years. Uh, you were a part of that show, The Get Down. How did you get casted for that? What was that experience like? Well, uh, it's funny. Um, I didn't really get casted. I got put on because I, I actually missed the audition for some stupid <laughs> reason. Um, personal reasons. I, I, I don't know. It's just I ended up missing out and... I didn't really take it too serious at the moment, I think. And then things started moving and I seen a lot of my people's working. So then I reached out to one of my boys that was working. Um, he was actually like um, a choreographer. So um, my boy Samo had got the gig as choreographer and he was also training um, some of the dancers. So he was teaching um, Shamik Moore how to break for the role of Shaolin Fantastic. So I had reached out to him and I was like, look, I know y'all need some more brown brothers, you know what I'm saying? Let me know if you need some Latin Inferno lover. Yes. <laughs> he hit me up one day like, yo, um, are you available for this? And I was like, yeah, I guess they needed some new faces because they kept like reusing some of the same B-boys. So they wanted to switch it up. and I worked on it um, one day. It was like a couple of us, like three B-boys. And it was like a small scene. It was nothing like um, where you see a lot of dancing, but we still got um, put on as um, principals. Oh, okay. And that was cool. So then later on, got called back to work on some different episodes that had bigger dance scenes. And that's when it, it got really fun because then I got to work with a bunch of friends on set and, you know, started learning more. Um, eventually they hit me up like, yo, you got to join the union or, you know, we can't hire you no more because then the producers will get fined. Oh, wow. So, yeah, yeah. Because the thing is that um, I guess they can't exhaust that, like having non-union workers because it's like taking advantage, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like once you're in the union, like you get paid more and they, they take care of you and all that shit. So I was like, I, right, I don't want to miss out on this opportunity. So ended up joining the, the union, the actors union right. and, you know, kept working on, on it. And it was, it was, it was a good time. It was fun. It was a good experience. It was something that I've been wanting to do and pursue. I just didn't really know how to get my foot in, mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, it was a good time. So shout out to Samo for putting me on and getting me on as one of the principal dancers and shit. So it was on a few episodes. It's cool. Like, Are you actively pursuing roles now in acting or nah? Yeah, I was actually uh, pursuing acting, but then the COVID shit kind of like slowed everything down. So the industry has changed a little bit. Mm -hmm. So given, given that time, a little bit of time to adjust and then probably get back to that. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it was doing it um, since 2016. Oh, nice. Okay. It was when we did that project. So that, that was a good experience, man. Like, got to meet like a lot of dope people, some dope actors and writers and shit. Grandmaster Flash, um, chilling with Nas on the release party. You know, that's oh, like nice. a fucking dream and shit. So right. yeah, man, like this, the hip hop journey has taken me to some places I didn't think I would ever be or, or around people, work with people that I look up to. So very grateful for that. Little side note, it's funny that you uh, that you mentioned being at the party with Nas because in my mind it brought something full circle. I remember when you guys came out to uh, Arizona 
for the uh, NBL National Championship, and I asked you, what did you want your intro song to be? Do you mind New York State of Mind? And you was like, hell yeah. And then fast forward all these years, you with Mr. New York State of Mind chilling at the at the release party or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, so you did, you said uh, Lollapalooza. So you, you were involved with Lollapalooza Rock the Bells. That was for 2020, correct? Yeah, just uh, recently we were featured on a, a small segment for Rock the Bells at the Lollapalooza um, virtual concert. Yeah, how did so how did that come about? Um, uh, Crazy Legs had reached out to me, asked me if I was uh, available and if I knew anybody else who was down to do something for it. And I thought I was under the impression that they were gonna like put us in a studio and film something and, you know, we'll put together something nice. But again, due to COVID, things changed. So um, they asked us to submit like self-tape. So, you, um, you know, you're challenged with doing this like real quick, deliver like, yo, by tomorrow, here's the deadline. And then it's like, it's not like before you, we had access to practice spots and all this and you know, you got to have somebody there to help you film the shit. So, you know, we just sent real quick wherever we had space. I did mine outdoor, so I just did a little something. And then we submitted the videos and they put, they edited something, you know. Like, <laughs> they did what they you know, did. You know how that is, like when it comes to like breaking and, and then like say MTV edits some shit, you're like, Damn, bro, you got me facing the wrong way. <laughs> you missed my signature move. Like, right. I remember hitting them 90s, and then you put that whack clip of those 90s. Like, <laughs> yeah. so I was no looking doubt, at man. it like, eh, it's okay. It's dope because it was like a conversation like, like this, like a Zoom between Crazy Legs and LL Cool J, and then they go back and forth, watch the clip, and then interact and talk about it. So it was dope to see, like, two dudes I grew up looking up to, like, you know, speaking about us dancing and, you know, giving us props and, and showing us love. It was just like, damn, like, you know, for some people it's not a big deal, but I'm like, damn, like, you know, I've come this far to have, like, LL Cool J watch me dance and be like, yo, that's impressive. Like, I appreciate their passion. No so it's doubt. like little things like that. It's not a big deal, but for me, no. it's like, damn, like it's, it's recognition. And I'm like, that's cool. I'm still here. And, you know, I'm still getting love for it. For more quality content from Beyond the Cypher with Ill Skills, don't forget to press the like and subscribe buttons. Let us know how we're doing down in the comment section. And to make sure that you don't miss anything from the channel, smash that notification bell. We appreciate the love and support. Peace until the next episode.